Welcome to Let's Get Tech Talk. Today we're looking at the new flagship model of the quad core CPUs from AMD. This one here is the 975 model. As you can see here, there's not much that is changing from the stats. So we look at the specifications here, it's a 3.6 gigahertz, so there's a speed bump there from the previous one, the 970 was a 3.5. Still has 8 megs total of cache, 6 of it is level 3. It's still an AM3 socket CPU using the 45 nanometer architecture and um, basically the CPU itself is virtually identical to the previous 970 but 100 megahertz more still a 125 watt CPU using the Deneb core basically so I've swapped CPUs I had the 970 in this system previously and I put in this 975 quad core and um, my expectations are basically that it should give us 100 megahertz more performance roughly from the 970. Now the question is why would you buy a quad core at 3.6 gigahertz instead of a 6 core CPU for example? Well we're going to take a look at that in a second but when it comes to gaming and um, doing your everyday stuff you really don't need 6 cores right? 4 cores is enough and you can see here that with these 4 cores temperatures are terrific 29 degrees on low 46 degrees at maximum load. I mean, nothing can touch that. That is just awesome temperatures here running it. As you can see, doing some uh, burn-in tests, make sure that the CPU is able to keep up. And uh, it's not even sweating. So looking at um, some more of the specs of my system, you can see there the memory timings and the video card that I have installed in the machine and uh, now we're going to look at some temperature reading so again going back here at idle mode we're ru roughly about 30 degrees celsius here give or take two degrees depending on the ambient uh, temperature and the changes in the room but uh, that's still pretty low overclocking previously with the 970 i was able to get to 4.2 gigahertz with this one i got to 4.3 gigahertz so nothing out of the ordinary there no surprise uh, being a black edition, this is easily overclockable, so a nice 700 megahertz gain from the defaults is pretty sweet. And uh, all I had to do was increase the multiplier and a little bit the bus speed there went up to 205 from 200. That's just about it. The voltage was increased to about 1.475, but the memory was left identical. And you can see there the maximum load temperature and the idle temperatures have increased a little bit, I would say about. Uh, 5 to 10 degrees Celsius depending on the load but uh, overall you get a great results at 4.3 gigahertz you can't complain now when we look at the benchmarks here you can see here 3d mark vantage the CPU score 12,349 and um, when we compare that to other processors you can see here the gain again with 100 megahertz from the previous 970 not too much Again, very close to the 6-core CPU score, so not bad at all if you're overclocking it. When it comes to the game CPU operations and PC Mark Vantage, you can see here that when it comes to gaming, there's not much difference between the quad-core and the 6-core, so you might as well stick with the quad-core for that. When it comes to rendering, in Cinebench 11.5 here, you can see the scores are very close to the uh, Core i7 uh, 960 and 860, which are considerably more expensive than this one. This one's roughly about $195 US, okay, for those of you that are wondering. Now, when I talk about calculations and speed, here you can see at default clock speeds, it takes about 19.2 seconds to calculate pi to 1 million decimals. If I overclock it, 16.3 seconds. So that's three seconds. Uh, in the uh, game benchmarks, you can see here the results are excellent, of course. Quad core is more than enough speed to play any game. There's no bottlenecks, there's nothing happening here. You're getting terrific results, smooth, fast frames per second. Run everything on high max, maxed out, and uh, you'll be fine with this uh, processor, no problems. So, again, terrific results. Any game you throw at it, Sniper Ghost Warrior, you can see there. Stalker Clear Sky Benchmark as well. Terrific high results. Of course, I'm running everything on ultra high and at 1680 times 1050, these are the results, and at 1920 times 1080, these are the frames per second that I'm getting in those benchmarks as well. So overall, this is a great processor for four cores that you're getting. It's not hyper-threaded, but still, there are four cores running at pretty good 
temperatures if you look at the at the stats so terrific results that you're getting for $195 roughly US and I'd like to thank AMD for providing it I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching